Bettis, trying to move the chain, is going to be racked up a yard short by Tom McManus. Tom McManus makes the stop. You're looking at the classic overachiever. I wasn't your, you know, unbelievable, incredible athlete that you just had to have. The whole thing is my principles of life. I was taught by my father. My dad, living through those times, had adversity his whole life. You can imagine living through the Great Depression. My dad taught me so much about how to be in this world about how to overcome, how to keep working, how to keep believing and earning it. The day after Pearl Harbor, he was one of the first to enlist in the Army Air Corps out of Rutgers. Learned to fly the B-24 bomber, the Liberator. June 9th, 1944, they were shot down. And he became a prisoner of war for 11 months. You talk about persevering, you talk about handling adversity. This is life and death. So many brave men did it, including my father. He was eventually liberated by General Patton's 3rd Armored Division. My story's small. I came out of Boston College. I grew up in Chicago, came out of Boston College, was a third team All-American. All throughout high school, you'll, you'll never play college ball. You'll never do this. You'll never do that. My senior year, I'm a two-time first-team All-Conference, third-team All-American. Think I'm going to the pros. Yes, I already had my degree. We do graduate in four years at Boston College. They kind of make us do it. But it's a good thing. I thought I was going to the NFL. thought, hey, I'm in. I knew I wasn't going to be high draft pick, but I knew I'd get a chance. Be drafted sometime. Draft came and went. 37 linebackers went before me. I wasn't even drafted. Tom Coughlin's linebacker coach on the phone, Steve Zabel, who coached me at BC. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm eating Cheerios, watching TV, getting ready for uh, to take on this new job. How'd you find me? I don't worry about that. What about giving football one more try? My father came with me every workout to this football field that nobody was on. We'd go at noontime. And he'd sit out there in his beach chair, timing me. One more, Tom. One more. A classic overachiever right in front of you. I'm damn proud of it. And I will continue to achieve. So no matter what your talent level is, or what that talent may be, be an overachiever. 